Um, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, I'm Melissa and basically today my video is going to be about my all in experience, going all in and like the symptoms and stuff and dealing with the symptoms of all in. So if you don't know what all in is, all in is basically a recovery method from an eating disorder. I'm recovering from anorexia. Um, so yeah, I'm recovering from that with All In. And All In is basically a recovery method kind of like designed by Emma, who is at Recovery Bakes on Instagram. If you don't already follow her, follow her. Uh, she's really good. And um, she basically designed this recovery method um, along with other people like Stephanie Buttermore and like Tabitha Farah, um, people like that who I've mentioned in previous videos. Um, and I have touched on All In a little bit in my update video. Um, and All In is basically eating until full satisfaction, mental and physical satisfaction. It's about rewiring all your like pathways and rewiring the brain and challenging all your thoughts in your head. Um, so like opposite actions and stuff and it's about so like it's basically like three meals three snacks minimum and like good snacks not like crap snacks and um, like it's like just basically getting rid of all your eating disorder thoughts like not acting on any thoughts at all like getting rid of all that the obsessions and like say like exercise like um, if you have an obsession with exercise, you're not doing that. Like any purging methods, not doing any of them at all um, to basically recover. And I genuinely think that it is the best way to recover. Um, and so basically, when I started all in at the end of November, since then I have been so much better. I had a bit of a bad week, as you know, which I have touched on. Um, which basically needed to happen because it showed me how miserable restriction made me compared to recovery and yeah recovery is really really hard and I do have some bad days and like some breakdowns still like I'm, I'm far from recovered at all mentally um, like the thoughts in my head are really loud because I'm actively challenging my thoughts um, but basically when I first started all in um, my extreme hunger hit super hard like it hit so hard because extreme hunger is basically I thought I put it in your nose. Extreme hunger is basically where you've suppressed like your appetite restricted, um not necessarily suppressed your appetite, but you get what I'm saying, like you've not given your body the correct nutrition and stuff. Um and then you start eating again and your body's like, Wow, she's given me all this food, let's try and get as much as it as we can. Um, in case she goes back in starvation mode um, and basically it's not just that as well like your body is making up from all the food that you've lost and it doesn't want you to not have any food so it's trying to get as much as it as it can at once um, so basically my extreme hunger hit hard because before I started all in I had been restricting for like a year and a half um, straight um, and I tried to recover a few times within that but I was stuck in quasi recovery so I wasn't full recovery I was still losing weight um, and yes there was times where I'd gained weight and started to get better but it was never full recovery I was still acting on thoughts I was still listening to my eating disorder my eating disorder still had control of me um, but since I've started all in like I said I've been so much happier um, and yeah I was listening to my extreme hunger and I noticed that listening to my extreme hunger was literally, I can't even talk, listening to my extreme hunger was the best thing that I had done, which is basically what all in is, it's listening to your extreme hunger. Um, and I noticed that as, the, as I listened to it more and more and more, and it lasted for quite a long time, I still do get little bits of it now, but it's not as nowhere near as bad as it was. Like it was every day I could have been eating up to 5,000 calories, um, I was eating a lot of food and I was craving like sugar because I hadn't given my body that prior so when it like discovered sugar again it was like oh my god um, give us more you know what I mean so as I started to listen to my extreme hunger more and more and more I noticed that my extreme hunger decreased and I wasn't as hungry all the time I wasn't as ravenous because my body had started to trust me 
Um, when I had the little bad week, basically what happened was my body must have fell back into say starvation mode and freaked out a little bit. Um, as when I started recovery again after my bad week, it kind of my extreme hunger came back, so I kind of lost all the progress that I'd made before. So it just shows that even just having like one bad week, whatever, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. As it just sets you back, and you have to start over all start over all over again. Um, but for me, that bad week needed to happen. Like I said, like I needed to go through that again to show me how like miserable restriction is and it needed i needed a wake-up call basically i was having like relapse thoughts a lot and i needed to happen to show me that i need to recover if you get me um so yeah all in has been really good for me um and i've been loads better so much more energy energy to dance energy to walk a dog i'm not constantly thinking about food all the time and when i'm hungry i just eat and it's great, but I still do get a lot of force in my head. I do still have like a lot of like, crying episodes over food, but I don't necessarily act on the force. Well, I don't act on the force. So just because like my brain's telling me to not have a snack, I'll still have the snack. Um, so last night I had pizza and my brain was like, don't have the pizza, don't have the pizza, you don't need the pizza, you don't need the pizza. I still had the pizza because I knew I wanted that pizza and I knew I needed that pizza. Um, so yeah, but it's hard. Recovery is really hard, but it's worth it because I'm constantly, not constantly, but most of the time I am freaking out about food and recovery. But at the back of my mind, I know that it's 100% worth it and going all in was the best decision that I've ever made. And since being all in, life has been great. Yeah. Um, not great because I'm far from recovered, but it's been better than it has been for the last God knows how long. Um, but yeah, I'm far from recovered mentally, um, but I'm getting there. I am really getting there. I genuinely do feel like I'm doing so much better around food and stuff. I've got a lot of things that I need to still work on, don't get me wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I've got a lot of things that I um, still need to work on, don't get me wrong. But, oh, sorry, one second. I've got a lot of things that I need to work on, don't get me wrong, but um, like it's like slow steps. I'm making steps forward every day. Um, and I wanted to touch on the symptoms, not symptoms, the um, side effects that I've been dealing with as well. So I've been suffering with very bad water retention um, in my hands and my feet. So my feet and my hands swell up. They get rid of my veins, like they turn red. I can't feel like rings on my fingers because that ballooned um, and that's just basically your body holding on to water um, and that's totally normal in recovery and um, bloating as well I suffer with really bad bloating not as bad anymore actually it's, it's stopped a lot I don't get as bloated but when I first started recovery um, and all in especially I was getting really bloated um, but that was basically because I was eating so much food as well and my body hadn't had that food so it was kind of freaking out and obviously with the amount of food I was eating I was like a bottomless pit so I was like if you are say physically full but still mentally hungry you still need to eat so you can be physically full and feel full but mentally hungry and still need to eat and the thing is like a lot of people um, when they're recovering from anorexia and they're suffering with extreme hunger think that they're binging but you're not like I thought that when I first started and I've done so much research on this but it's not a binge at all you cannot binge in anorexia recovery um, it basically your body trying to save itself you 100% know what you're doing and your body 100% knows what it's doing um, and you've just got to trust the process and trust your body and initially because of the water retention you will gain weight and you'll see a big jump that's why getting weighed is 100% something that you need to eliminate um, getting weighed was one of my big things and it used to trigger me every time so stopping getting weighed for me was the best thing that I did um, 
so I don't get weighed because if I get to a certain weight I kind of freak out and relapse so stopping getting weighed stopping one of my big like eating disorder rituals rules whatever was the best thing that I could have done um and like the weight gain will eventually slow down once your body trusts you that's why you need to be so consistent um but like another side effect that i really suffered with was stomach pain so some days i was in absolute agony with my stomach but the best way to deal with that was literally just to lay down get a hot water bottle or something or just take paracetamol and just deal with it um and just because like your stomach is hurting doesn't mean you don't eat you still have to eat even when your stomach's hurting and there was days where i was going to bed like so full but i knew that i'd a until mental and physical satisfaction which was the main thing that you needed to do and that i needed to do to get to the stage i'm at now and now i'm at the stage where i don't really abide by any rules i eat when i'm hungry i am able to go out with my family and enjoy meals enjoy times i don't have to have my life revolving around food and things are improving so much and like I said I've still got a long way to go but yeah um things are going forward I'm looking at getting a job soon um and I'm just looking at like meeting new people like building a life basically um because obviously as a lot of you know I moved to a brand new area due to my eating disorder um, and I haven't yet had the time to meet many people around here um, so it'd be nice to actually meet some people around here and have fun and live um, because basically I've been so focused on at first I was so focused on my eating disorder and now I'm so focused on recovery that I don't really have the time to like work or something because I need to have food available when I need food um, because I've noticed that two things I've noticed is when I eat something my body kind of kicks in and makes you hunger starts it's like hunger induced eating I think it's called um, so when you eat something your body's like give me more give me more um, and another thing that I've noticed is when I go out and I'm not food's not available all the time the next day my extreme hunger will be so bad um, so I need to make extreme hunger all the time if I get it so today I'm going out for the day there is going to be food available I'm going out for, out for a nice meal um, but say if I was going somewhere where there's not going to be food available so say if I was going to work an 8 hour shift and I was only going to get one break um, I would struggle because my body would kind of freak out so I'm trying to get to the stage now where I'm recovered enough to be able to work but i've still got like a i've still got a little while before i'm going to be ready enough to do stuff like that um but i do feel a lot more ready now than i ever have been and i guess i'm never going to know until i try um i have tried jobs and they haven't been right for me but basically you have everyone can't hear me um so yeah i was saying um your health comes first so if you're in education if you're in work if you're in a relationship if you're whatever your health literally comes before anything and if that means upsetting someone if that means leaving your job if that means anything then you've got to do that because your health comes first and recovery comes first and i could never have recovered if i didn't leave my first job um so i loved my first job um so i used to work with some great people um and I did enjoy it I really did I was there for quite a long time and I met all my closest friends there and it was it was a good time of my life you know um but if I would have stayed in that job I would never have got better and my eating disorder that kind of developed when I was in that job um and everyone bless me was so supportive and I did get a lot of support from everyone and help from everyone um but I would have never recovered if I like didn't leave I would have been stuck in the same situation and the same with university if I would have not left university I would have not recovered um because it's just so hard for me personally I need my own like space mind space I need the time to enjoy other things rather than focus on work and 
like intense things like studying um and i basically didn't have the concentration to do them things whereas now because i'm like kind of better in a sense um i've got the energy to do them things now um and so that's why i'm gonna start looking for a job soon hopefully have a job by then maybe like easter i'm hoping um because my concentration is getting better and focus on other things rather than food which is basically why you need to do this so all in was the best thing that i did um i feel like i'm rambling a bit here um and i'm going off topic but i'm just trying to say that i've tried so many different recovery methods i've tried um mini moad i've tried intuitive i don't know if that's how you say intuitive eating um i've tried meal plans i've tried everything and nothing has actually worked for me like all in has um and it's a very supportive community um and there's always support there if you need it from other people that have eaten disorders like the services aren't that great i'm not gonna lie um that's why i discharge myself from all eating disorder services and mental health services um because they just wasn't helping me in the slightest they i don't even want to go into detail about it because they're just crap and if you you know that um if you're watching this and you've got an eating disorder you'll know that and the only person that can change your life is you the only person that can force yourself to recover is you no eating disorder specialist unless they're gonna force feed you over an ng tube or like just send you inpatient whatever um that's not recovery that isn't recovery so the only person that can do real recovery is you and that's why I think that going all in was the best decision that I made. Um, and I would just say the best tips for going all in would be to just go for it. Just literally push yourself and just go for it. You've got to, there's no point in just like wandering around, like wandering, I didn't mean that. I meant like, just like taking your time basically. You've just got to go for it full force throw yourself in the deep end obviously be careful of like refeeding syndrome and if you're eating very little you need to be very careful of that and you need to increase slowly before you can do a big jump but if you're say like in quality recovery i would say just go all in just go for it because what's the worst that's going to happen you might gain a few pounds you might gain you will gain a few pounds you will gain probably more if you need it but the main aim of this is to get to your body and set point. The main aim of this whole thing is to recover, get your life back, get to your body and set point. Your body will stop gaining weight when it needs to gain weight. So I'm at the stage now, I don't know where my set point is basically because I don't know. I don't know what my natural body weight is, um, but your body will stop gaining weight when it needs to gain weight. And once it's at a set point, it will stop. Um, you're not going to keep gaining weight forever like a lot of people will think you're not it's not going to carry on and carry on and carry on you're not going to end up obese you're not going to end up the biggest person ever but you're going to end up bigger than you are because you're living in a malnourished body and you're living a restricted life you're living with restricted eating you're not living at all so gaining that way is like gaining your life back in effect um and yeah, I just think that a lot of people think all in may be too hard, but recovery isn't easy, like I've said. Um, and I would just say, go for it, honestly. I know I've said that a few times now, but just go for it. Um, and just deal with all the side effects. Like, it will pass. It will all pass. Um, and to go to get to the bright side you've got to go through like a storm you've got to challenge every single thought that's in your head and if that is like the hardest thing ever for you the outcome is going to be great because you've challenged that and if that's your biggest thing your biggest thing that's holding you back and you challenge that then the outcome is going to be great because the only thing stopping you is that um, so once you've got past that, you've got a whole life ahead of you. So once we're past the 
eating sort of thoughts once we're past the restriction you're the only way is up basically um and once you've been to like such a miserable place um and once you've lived with need sort of lived with restriction live with any mental health issue you know that literally the only way is up because you never want to go back there again and you might get thoughts of relapse and you might get thoughts of wanting to go back but really that is just your eating sort of talking that isn't you talking because you don't want to go back um but yeah i'm gonna leave that there because um i've been talking for quite a while um but i don't know if that's helped anyone i don't know i just wanted to talk about my experience so far with it um and basically i do think that other people should go all in i think it's the best thing that you could possibly do um and i think more people need to be aware of it um i am going to do a few more videos on different like recovery things like extreme hunger and probably more into detail about my eating and i might do like what I eat in a day maybe I'm not 100% sure on that um but if you like I say want me to do anything talk about anything I might do one about that OCD or something then just let me know um but I hope that it's helped I hope that you like it but um yeah please do like and subscribe to the video it does mean a lot to me and all I'm trying to do is help people because why I'm doing these videos because I just want to get the word out about recovery and I want to raise awareness of eating disorders and anorexia and I want to share the journey that I'm going through and I like to keep everyone updated on my life <laughs> um, as obviously I have a lot of friends that I don't see and a lot of people I'm not in contact with that um, I don't live near. I just like to keep everyone updated on my life so I do share all my videos with um, the recovery eating disorder community and with my personal friends, personal life because there might be one person that I help and that's all that matters. Like if 10 people watch my video and 9 don't find it helpful but one person does that really matters and I don't need everyone to watch it. I don't need like 6,000 subscribers if it's helped one person. That's all that matters to me. Um, so yeah, um, thank you all for watching. Um, sorry if I've rambled a little bit. Um, but yeah, I really hope that it's helped and persuaded you to go all in if that's what you're watching this for. <laughs>